and um I'm going back and doing an old video that I made a long time ago. It's called it was called My Rock Collection. I'm gonna do that again just to see what happens and I'll show you all my rock collection. So first we got this and and they're in rod socks. So I'm not gonna take the rod socks off. But this is a Daiwa. Um, I don't know what kind. Uh, well, I know it's a Daiwa, but also have a Daiwa reel on. It's an Excella reel and a really good rod and reel combo overall. Cashed really good and just a great rod overall. And next we have a Snake Kreutz, um it, Bass X, uh, I think that's what it's called. Rod, and then we have a um, oops, wrong thing. Daiwa Revros reel, really good reels. And they're cheap too. So yeah, that's the second one. And these are the ones that I have in my truck that I'm using right now. Well, not my truck, but I think you get the point. And the next is Fenwick with another Daiwa Revros reel. It's a, it's really flimsy. Sorry, I just got done eating, if there's anything on my face. Um, it's really flimsy, so you can, if you want a good fight, that's your rod. It's a medium light Fenwick, and my papa caught about a 20 pound stingray on it, so it, it put up a really good fight. And it's only, it only has eight pound test, so surprised it didn't break the line. But next rod is well I actually got this off, off a used um, shelf at my store it's a qualifier pro reel abu garcia rod really good combo there you go I didn't have i didn't really feel like reading that um but y'all saw it <laughs> so the next rod up my first bait caster ever i've had it since i was three and I'm 11 now, so yeah, a long time. Um, ah, I can't get it. Um, it's a wait, where does it say? Hold on, just a second. There we go. A pal, I think that says diesel. I can't read it because I'm looking through an iPhone. Um, then whatever that word is. Um, don't know what that is, but yep, that's the real. It's Daiwa, and that's my first bait caster ever, and it is still works really good. Next up, we have a custom rod. My papa likes Virginia Tech, so I got him a Virginia Tech colored rod. Had this made for um him by one of our friends, Travis Shelley. Talked, to, uh, told y'all about him before. And it has a a Daiwa Regal on it instead of the Rivers. They're like, t I have the hiccups. Ten bucks more than the um, Rivers is just as good. Both of them are really good. And if um, you're wondering why I'm walking around a lot, it's because I have no shoes on and the uh, pavement's really hot. So um, next up we got a loose smash combo it is my Grammys and I got it for her birthday in May so if this video has comments um, and somebody comments by chance and guesses what day my Grammys birthday is I'll pin you um, but yeah it's a smash um, it's really good and I've caught some we caught flounder on it at the beach and about the beach videos I haven't had time to try to get them so I will try that uh, maybe next week because I'll be down in Pigeon Forge probably gonna get the coronavirus but uh, that that can be a whole separate video if I do um, but yeah I'm going down to Pigeon Forge fishing so yeah and then the next rod, sadly, the first pink rod that I got my Grammy, first rod, it's been in many videos before, ended up breaking at the beach, so I got our new one. 
pink one instead of the blue rings it has. Purple. And it has a reverse. Same reel. Reverse reel. But just different rod. Really awesome. It, it's, we haven't taken it, taken it out. I cannot talk. We have not taken it out fishing yet, but we will. In Pigeon Fortune, we might make a video or two down there with Joe. He's coming with us. He invited me down there two weeks ago. So I said, come with us this time. And he said, why not? So, yeah, he'll be coming down there with us. And next, we have my Grammy's silver rod, or gray rod, whatever you want to call it. It, it has a regal on it. We need more line on it as well. It has a, a Dawa regal. And it's the same rod as my pawpaws and the other pink one it's made by Travis Shelley. And he, he's a really good guy and he makes really good rods. So here's the next one. And by the way, I, my spinning rod was messed up when I was down at Pigeon Forge with Joe. So I tied a curly, a tiny curly tail on a bait caster. Yeah, I know, shouldn't have done that. Got a big fuzz, but I got it out. But the next rod is a Vexen rod, really good rod. It is stiff, but you can really feel the bots like really well on it. And then I got a Shimano SLX reel. I didn't get the, uh, this is the $100 version instead of the $140. Um, just because I didn't, the, the $140 was not out whenever I bought this, or I probably would have got it. And then the last rod, you can buy this at Watson's Marine for this combo for 50 bucks. It's a Sienna Shimano Focus Shimano um, rod with a, if I can turn it, Sienna Shimano reel. And I put 10 pound braid on there. It's a really good rod and reel combo. I love this rod and reel combo. And it is awesome. And it's really flimsy. So I said I am like 2011 times, but oh, whatever. Um, forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, it's really sensitive, and that means you could detect the bites well, and that is awesome. Cause I don't, I don't fish finesse a lot, but when I'm struggling to catch fish, I fish finesse. So yeah, I use that one, and you can feel the bites amazingly well. And, well, that's the end of my rod collection. I'll let you look at them one more time. And, well, that's... I shouldn't have done that yet because I want to show you again. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.